Hi everyone, welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up aileron differential in your Radio Master TX16S. Now, aileron differential is where your lowering aileron goes down less in proportion to the upgoing aileron. This causes, helps to cause less drag. And I've used it on a couple of my models and it definitely works. Now, in this example I'm giving you, I'm going to start now explaining to you what GVs are, which are global variables. Now, the benefits of using global variables are that you can go into that section of the radio and you want to change something, you just change the figure in the global variable and wherever you've used that global variable in your model, it will be changed. It's a very useful feature of OpenTX. Now, let's switch over to uh, Companion where I'll do the setup and then I will go through the uh, settings on the radios and show you how this works. Now let's open my recent backup and we're going to go to the plane that I've been using for all my videos. Now to add the global variables we need to go to the flight modes and you will see down at the bottom we have G GVARs which are global variables. If we put a global variable in here, and I'm going to, in this example, I'm just going to put 60 for now, and then I'm going to make the value 60. If we now go to mode 1, you'll see here the name has come up of the global variable, and it says flight mode 0 value. So it copies over the value to each of the flight modes. So if we go to the armed mode, you can see the value there. And if we go to the flaps, we, uh, mode, we can see it there. Now what you can do is when you're setting up different flight modes, now I thought this might be a good idea for things like complicated gliders, you could go in there and when your glider is in a certain mode, it would pick up a certain uh, global variable. And then if you picked another mode, it will pick up another global variable. So it's a very useful, powerful tool in OpenTX. We're just using it in a very simple way because I want to show you and give you the basics of what they are. Okay, let's go back to the flight modes. Now, in the first flight mode, I've put 60 and I'm going to put 70 in the second one. And then in the last one, which is a, a 100. Now, these are going to be used for the aileron differential. Next thing we have to move on to is the mixes. Now in here, there's quite a bit of work for us to do. We have to add in another three lines to each of the uh, channels for the ailerons, which in my case is four and five. And we have to alter and or check the first line. So let's go to it. Double click the first line. Now in here, we need to change the weight to zero. We need to change the diff to 100 and then we're going to pick the switch whichever switch you decide to use in my case I'm using SG switch G in the forward position or the default position and then we're going to say OK now we need to add another line so we're going to click right click and say let's just say duplicate and now we've got our second line we need to double click that and in here we are going to, in the weight, click GV. You can see the GVs that we've set up have popped up. Now, in this first one, we are going to use the 60. So we leave that and it should be a plus. Then we're going to go down to the, the, cur the curve and that should be 100. And this switch needs to be our switch G in the middle position. Now, that's everything for here. Click OK. Now we are going to duplicate this line again. So we left click it, right click and say duplicate. And then we're going to double click that line. And in here, we are going to change the weight to our second GV, which should be the plus one. And we click that there and our weight should be 100. Our switch now should be in the switch G in the back position. And then that should be it. We're good to go there. Now we add, need to add one more line. So we're going to click on this line again, right click and duplicate it. And in here on the final line, we are going to pick up 
the GV, which is number three, but this needs to be minus. Then we go to the differential, we need to zero that. We don't want any differential in there. And the switch, we need to set to no switch. So we need to go up. Now we should be good to go. Now let's repeat that process on channel five. We're gonna go into our first line and in here, we are going to change our weight to zero. Then we are going to put a curve in of minus 100. We then have to pick our switch up, which is the SG, switch G in the forward position. Okay, there we go, and we're good. Now we are going to replicate that line. So right click, duplicate it, double click. And in here, we are going to select Weight is going to be a GV, and that's our first GV, and that will be a plus. Uh, the offset is zero, and this should be minus, that's correct, and the switch should be in the G in the middle position. Switch G in the middle position, and we should be good to go. Now we need to replicate that line again. So we click, right click, duplicate, and double click, and in here, we are going to change this to our second GV, global variable, and everything's good there, and we need to change the switch to the Mac position. And there we go. Okay, and there's one more line to add in, so we're gonna duplicate that line, and we're gonna edit this line, which is now going to change to minus G3 there, and we need to zero the curve and there should be no switch on this one. Oh, beg your pardon, no switch. Okay, and we can say okay. Now let's see if we've got everything correct. Let's go and uh, demonstrate this by simulating the radio. If we could use our ailerons, we can see they're both working, channel four and five. Now if I put on aileron differential. Now this is an exaggerated differential. You'll see that on the downward, well, channel 4 is only moving 30% and the channel 5 is moving full 100%. Now if we go the other way, now the downward channel 5 aileron is only going 30%. So that gives you the differential. That is an exaggerated number, but that is just for demonstration purposes. If you would like to use aileron differential with flapperons that we sent up recently, you're gonna to need to add extra lines in. Now I wanted to show you this because you may have seen these lines in the, in the video. So you're gonna to have to add to each channel for the ailerons this line. And you can see the entries here. It's everything is zero and there's no switch. And then same with channel five, your second aileron, you're gonna to have to add in this line. And again, everything is zero. Now the reason we need to do this is because the, of the switch. We have, they don't have a position for the switch forward, which in other words would be no flaps. So you would need to add this line in. I just wanted to point that out. If you've been following my videos and you wanted to make the aileron differential added with your flapperons as well. Now let's take a look at the aileron differential settings on the radio. The first thing we do is hit the model button and we're going to go across, I'm going to skip across to the global variables, which uh, this obviously looks different than it does in companion. But here you can see the, the GV number, the global variable number, and you can see the name I put in, 67100, and they are just for demonstration purposes, and then the values. Now, if you want to change a value for a specific flight mode, then this is flight mode zero, and this is one, two, three, four, and so on across. So you can go in there and edit this one and put a figure in if you want to, or pick a flight mode. So that's where you can do the variables. Now we need to move back to the mixes, which is quite complicated. It is uh, much easier to do this on the companion program than it is in the radio, but it is possible, it's not impossible to do. So if we go down to the first row, I'm just going to show you the screens. 
so that if you just want to follow this and put it into your radio you'll be able to so in here we have weight zero offset zero and diff at 100 percent and switch that we're going that you want to use in the forward position so there we go that one now is active and we go to the second row and this is where we pick the global variable number one offset is zero diff is 100 percent and you can see when the switch is active it's in the middle and we go to the next line and you can see that's gb2 and if we flip the switch in the back position now that will be active so the offset is zero and the diff is the curve is 100 percent and then we go to the last line and you can see here that we put in gv3 with zero offset no switch and no curve and you repeat that for your other eight, your other channel which in my case is five let me just quickly display them and here zero zero and minus switch forward in here it's gv1 offset zero diff minus 100 switch in the middle And here it's G, uh, global variable 2, offset 0, diff minus 100%, switch in the back position. And then the final one to complete the process is the global variable 3, in a mi minus uh, 0 offset and 0 diff. And as I mentioned earlier, if you are following my videos and you wanted to set up flapperons, in, with flapperons, these are for normal flaps, but the flapperons you need to add another line in and that is this line here on each of the channels just let me quickly show you it it's just everything is zero but you need this otherwise your flaps your flaps and your um angular differential will not work so that is on channel five if i go back up to channel four you see we need to add the line in there if you don't use flapperons you won't need to worry about this now let's demonstrate this working. Okay, so G is forward. You can see we have no differential. We click up. Now we've got differential of 40. And we go, and you can see the differential. Now, ordinarily, once you've found out how much differential you want to use, you would then set this up not on a switch. You would change it and you would set it permanently to that particular aileron channel for both the channels uh, but for this for this uh, tutorial video i wanted to show you on the switch so that i could also demonstrate uh, global variables now let me demonstrate the aileron differential we're going to plug our receiver in okay let's get the radio and you can see our ailerons are working normally. Right bank, left bank. Put the switch, differential switch on, and you'll see now the downgoing aileron is only moving a small amount. And then we go the other way, and now the downgoing one on the right is only moving a fraction. You would need to uh, play around with these settings to get the amount you want. I think if I remember correctly, on my plane, I put it in at, I think, 30%. But there we go. You can see that the settings are, are working. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye.